Good afternoon, everyone. You are all welcome to our validatory section, virtual sixth national conference on innovation and advances in interdisciplinary business research, 2023, organized by Department of Management Studies, DB Chain College. I'm Good so afternoon, happy to everyone. See you together, here. you are all welcome. Climbing to, to our validatory section, strength. whether it is virtual sixth national conference. Everest. Or to the top of our nation, my interdisciplinary business research teachers and participants, organized by Department of Management Studies, Professor Anita Mamch, to deliver the good afternoon, everyone. Together, you are all welcome. Climbing to our validatory section. Whether I'm very happy to be the national conference or to the top of our nation, my interdisciplinary business research teachers. Organized by Department of Management Studies, Sir Anita Mamch, to deliver the good afternoon together. You are all welcome. Climbing to your validatory section, whether it is the sixth national conference or to the top of the nation, in the interdisciplinary business research, teachers, and in the university. Organized by Department of Management Studies, Sir Anita Mamch, to deliver the good afternoon together. You are all welcome.
Topic was on, was on contributions of HR practices on the growth and development of the organization. And uh, there were lots of HR practices that have been adopted. Uh, contributions of HR practices on the growth and development of the organization. But out of those, mm-hmm. I was able to
uh, what to say, the participants or the sample size was uh, having a superior employee relationship, the management and uh, the workforce relationship. So that is something that that relationship they they profound uh, very many practices like open forum meeting and quality circle meeting and forum committee meeting all of those. But that is one interesting point which has been highlighted in my study that uh, any any organization should focus on bridging the gap between the management and the, the workforce. That is what we mean it as uh, superior industrial relations. So superior employee relations. So these were the outcomes of my study. And of course, there were a lot many, but uh, to narrate in a very simplified manner, uh, I just wanted to pitch upon this. So being a virtual meet, generally even interviews these days, uh, uh, we are asked to do virtual interviews, but I don't see any significance in doing these uh, virtual figures. We may miss out uh, certain qualified or good candidates by doing virtual interviews. It is always good to have a high to eye contact, face to face discussion. So that adds more value. But uh, this is again one other opportunity which is given you now because of the COVID. I think uh, most of the meetings and conferences are today on Zoom and uh, Google Meet. See, being a keynote addresser, I wanted to address the audience on one specific parameter. Maybe I think most of the academicians have been there in this uh, forum. And I, as a person who who, who integrates uh, academics as well as uh, corporate, I'm actually a corporate trainer also. So when I visit uh, institutions like Loyola and uh, other institutions when I'm called uh, for guest lecturers, uh, so I talk to them on six major soft skills which any individual should master. If at all they wanted to be successful in their career when it comes to industry purview. So this, of course, is one of the greatest uh, initiative of uh, us doing a research on what combining the most of the soft because when we say soft skills there are n number of soft skills are available so we wanted to understand and highlight what are the core six i mean we have identified core six uh, soft skills for convenience sake all six are uh, named in c the alphabet c so the first one uh, the first soft skill which anybody should master is uh, confidence. So I think uh, we as academicians, we as uh, uh, academic leaders, we have to probe students to bring about a change in their level of confidence. So I think uh, anybody can attain superior confidence level by having a proper attitude. And when somebody, when, when I say we need to have a superior attitude, everybody asks me how to develop superior attitude. It is very simple. We need to have a right thought process. The right thought process will enable us to have right words. The right process and the right words will enable us to have right actions. So when the thoughts, words, and actions are right, I think that will formulate the right attitude. So through this, by practicing this, and definitely we will be able to achieve the level of confidence. See, uh, I think college is the right uh, place uh, wherein students can be exposed to, to various programs uh, in order to develop their confidence level. And I'm an example for, I think my institution provided a, paved a way for me to develop my confidence level in terms of communication and other activities, other, other I mean, by organizing other events and other activities. Uh, so I think the colleges should uh, focus more on developing the confidence level of the people, uh, working on building the right attitude of the candidates. You know, enabling them to work on their right, I mean, quality of thoughts, quality of words they speak. So I think all of these are something which is very, very important. So I, as a HR, whenever I meet candidates for interview, we, uh, than the subject knowledge, we'll be, we be probing more on the attitude. The attitude is expressed in the way the professionalism, uh, the way they talk, the way they express themselves. I think those are things which we, which we need to focus in academics, maybe before we send the students from academics to institutions. The second uh, uh, soft skill which any individual should master in order to become very successful in their career is communication. See, I am uh, quite successful in the industry mainly because I 
am a master of communication i am rated to be a good communicator my subject knowledge may be slightly inferior but my communication and confidence is very superior and that is the reason i have been awarded and at a very early age i have been uh, awarded to be the head of um, a function in an organization so communication is something which any individual should master and it is definitely possible anybody who practices good enough to communicate well communicate effectively they will definitely be a good communicator so i think communication is something which we need to which any individual should master in order to become very successful maybe i will give few tips maybe uh, english is considered to be one of the professional languages where in any individual if they master they become successful and to successful successfully uh, communicate or should push or should to confidently communicate in english anybody requires 60 hours of practice so that is what we ideally say anybody who practices 60 hours of effective english speaking will definitely be able to communicate in english properly so when i say 60 hours maybe it can be 1 hour a day or 2 hours for 30 days but a religious practice they have to work on writing their thought process completely in english so something there are lots of tools and videos available to improve our communications i think uh, that would be useful for us to probe in us so the second the master uh, skill i mean soft skill which anybody should master is communication the third thing is something which is very interesting creative question of any individual i think we indians have practiced to you know, uh, have a chronological thought process because we are uh, we are not giving more importance for the creative thing creative question is not at all enable so i think institution should start focusing on giving assignments where we uh, impute impute the creative portion of our students so maybe they can give uh, some creative exercises creative assignments creative practical uh, assignments where the students can come out with innovative thoughts and uh, that will induce their creative quotient and when they come to industries definitely it will enable their creative quotient and they may stand unique in the industry so i think uh, the third important soft skill which we want to deliberate that all individuals should master is something like uh, creative and creativity is definitely a uh, quotient which can be developed over a period of time we mean to say like uh, i mean each of this is a workshop maybe we we at corporate uh, deliberate uh, each of it as a workshop how to build confidence is something else. we do it as a workshop so likewise uh, when we say creativity we used to deliberate students i mean we used to ask our people to identify an object and uh, we will let them work on a work on the object what other things we can do with it on maybe again lots of uh, exercises are there to improve the creative portion i think youtube and google is something uh, great as a where we can work on lots of practical exercises so only thing is we need to identify what are those and we need to start work on it, working on it so the third uh, important soft skill which anybody should master to become very successful in their career is creative creativity so they should be able to think creatively think out of box the fourth important thing is commitment today i think uh, the world is missing this this as an attribute commitment so when we commit i think uh, i mean commitment is taken very light these days and uh, so people who are uh, having high conscious towards commitment are the people who are very successful today so commitment is nothing but making a promise and sticking on to the promise when we say it is very easy but when we practice of course it is very difficult but of course practice makes a person perfect and uh, a simple way to be committed is making a promise and sticking on to the promise so those of them who have high sense of commitment are the people who are very successful and wanted today in the industry and next important soft skill which any individual should master to become very successful is collaboration any individual should collaborate i think uh, the other word for collaboration is networking today i i think we all know the power of networking 
a man who is able to network properly becomes very very successful in these things and we have lots of channels and platforms to network these things and so anybody who uses that as a very important uh, uh, factor i mean uh, get along with new people get along with new ideologies and perceptions uh, will definitely enable them to be very successful in the industry so collaboration i mean collaborate with new people getting along with new people networking given an opportunity meet and interact with new people that will give us that will give us more confidence that will give us uh, more contacts and that will give us uh, more ideologies and new perceptions towards life so anybody who needs to master or anybody who wants to be very successful in life should be willing to collaborate should be willing to network and the last uh, important soft skill which anybody should master is competency building competency so every individual should start working on building their competency level maybe I mean it is always good first to identify our strength strength we mean here is competency so i have identified my strength or my key competency as communication so i have started working deep into it and today i might have identified to be an effective communicator and i think that is paving way for my success so competency is something which any individual should start so when i say competency it is their their own strength their inner strength their key competency so first they should identify any individual should start identifying their own competency and start mastering in that competency see today's world requires specialists we don't want anybody who is jack in all and master in all we want specialists even in hr we have different verticals like recruitment training and development performance management industry relations management so many verticals and today the industry is wants people who are specialists for example recruitment specialists learning and development specialists so those are the people who are considered higher for higher grades and higher pays in the industry so let us start identifying let us intuit people let us intuit our students to identify their strengths keep mastering on their strengths now rather than focusing on what is that which they are not good at let them start focusing on what they are good at and that will enable better results in their life so this is something which i wanted to specifically highlight given an opportunity anywhere i am doing this so i repeat uh, the all I men all the six soft skills which any individual should master so the first one as i said it was confidence second thing communication third is creativity fourth is commitment level fifth is collaboration and the last one is competence so though i have mentioned it as different variables each are not independent variables all of these are interdependent variables which i mean if somebody needs to have confidence they definitely need to be able to communicate properly they need to have superior creative quotient they need to be commitment they need to be collaborative they need to have higher competency so each of it is a interdependent variable somebody who needs to be a good communicator they need to be very confident enough to communicate they need to have the creative quotient to communicate confidently so all of these are interdependent variables somebody who wants to i mean anybody who wants to master soft skills or anybody who wants to become who aspires to become somebody very great in the industry or or in life i think i think uh, all of these can be compressed together and if they start working on each of this and mastering all of this definitely they will become a very unique person in the industry and the society and no doubt they will definitely be a leader whatever assignment they are assigned to that so this is something which i want to address as a keynote speaker today i think over to the audience if they wanted to ask any questions maybe i can talk to them or i leave it to the organizers to take it forward thank you Thank you, sir. I request our chief guest, Ishwaran Permal, sir, to announce the best paper presenters of today's sixth national conference organized by Department of Management Studies, DP Chain College. Okay. Uh, 
Actually, it is my pleasure and honor to announce the best uh, winners or the, the prize winners. Uh, from HR, it is uh, Greshma Y and holds the first one. And second is uh, Shankar S yes, and uh, Greshma S yes, holds the third position. This is from the HR. And uh, on finance, uh, the first portion holds to Amal Infeto, and the second portion holds to CA Sasi, and uh, the third portion holds Ankit Kala. Best wishes to them. And uh, from marketing, the first portion holds by Ashi H. Rao, and second portion holds by Dr. Yel, yes, Lakshmi, and uh, the third portion is held by Shyama C. And last is IT. Dr. Nazreen B holds the first portion. Second portion is taken by Durga Nagarajan. And uh, the third portion is taken by Dr. Ankita. So, my best wishes and appreciations for all the prize winners. Thank you, sir. Dear participant, kindly fill the feedback form which is provided in the WhatsApp group. Uh, those who have filled the feedback form, Certificate will be provided shortly. The best paper presenter certificate will also be provided shortly. So both authors and co-authors can fill the feedback form to get their participation certificate. So now I request Professor Renita Ma'am to deliver the vote of thanks. Good evening, everyone. It's been an honor to be part of this delightful conference. On behalf of Department of Management Studies, I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude towards the management of DBJ and College for giving us the opportunity to organize this wonderful conference and their kind support. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to all our chief guests for their presence. The conference wouldn't have been possible and without them, this wouldn't be the same. And their presence and exceptional cooperation throughout the session of the conference was, was immense, and without which this wouldn't have been possible. So I thank each and everyone from the bottom of my heart. I would like to thank all the participants for their enthusiastic participation. An event of this dimension cannot happen overnight. The wheel started rolling months in advance. Hence, I would like to thank this, take this moment to thank our head of the department, Dr. A. Parmada, who have worked so hard to make this come together. So I would like to thank all the management staffs of the Department of Management Studies and for their kind cooperation, for their in, in, incapable cooperation who made this conference resound successful. And it is, and if it's money, then we have spent millions for us. So thank, thank you for all making this conference possible. Wish to see you all in another amazing event. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Once again, I repeat, dear participant, kindly fill the feedback form which is provided in the WhatsApp group. Those who have filled the feedback form, certificate will be provided shortly. The best paper presenter certificate will also be provided shortly and both authors and co-authors can fill the feedback form to get their participation certificate. 